let's summarize what we learned in this presentation. We learned the basic theory on registry in a Windows operating system. Basically, it uh, holds all the settings for the entire, entire machine, for Windows, for every, every application you have installed. We learned how to back up the current registry database using the registry editor. And remember, that's important because if you're going to make direct uh, changes to the registry database, then you should make a backup just in case you change the wrong item, you delete the wrong item, so forth. We learned how to create a new entry and delete an entry in the auto run section using registry editor. You probably never actually create a new entry, though it's good to understand the, the concept behind it. But delete an entry might be uh, an item you'd want to do as an IT professional. If you have a, a program that shouldn't be on a machine, you can delete it. If a user calls you up and their computer is running s very slow, you can visit the machine and see what's in the auto run section and um, get rid of some of those items uh, that are that are installed that sh shouldn't be running. Example of that is uh, if you install a, a reader of some sort, a viewer of some sort, they'll ask you, do you want to automatically be notified of updates? When they ask you that, they're getting ready to put an entry in your auto run section. We learned how to delete an entry in the auto run section using the auto run S application. Again, this is a uh, user-friendly uh, tool, though it's not just used by the, the common user of the machine, but it's also used uh, by IT professionals, because then they don't have to worry so much about uh, potentially damaging the, the registry database. And we described the role of the registry database in certain malware attacks. And this is definitely not uh, all the different malware attacks that can be uh, run on your particular machine using the run or run once feature those are the most um, apparent ones you have to learn a lot more about the inner workings of your computer to, to understand fully all the different uh, points in the registry and on your machine that you need to analyze to see what's see what's uh, potentially running that shouldn't be in this presentation we took a look at uh, the registry and it just gave a very basic overview of it there's much detail that goes into the registry it would take us a uh, maybe a year maybe two years to fully understand and, and get enough knowledge to uh, get certification in um, being able to troubleshoot a machine like a, a systems engineer